could have been a relatively routine race has turned into one of the most contentious in the country, and D.C. is closely watching. Two members of Congress from Central North Carolina are facing off in the Republican primary next month, and two famous billionaires are targeting one of them. CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland is here to explain why. Michael. There's a lot about this race that's unusual. The race in District 2 is happening later than normal because the districts got redrawn, but a group funded by the conservative Koch brothers is doing something that it's never done before. Try to get a Republican kicked out of office. One of the most dynamic. Congresswoman Renee Elmers is at the center of a political fight like she's never experienced. You have to show the, the voters who you are. She's facing off against a fellow Republican and Congressman George Holding in the race for the party's nomination in the state's second congressional district. Both support Donald Trump as their party's nominee for president and support House Bill 2. During a town hall Thursday, she tried to highlight differences to a crowd where some are still trying to make up their minds. Generally, I feel that she has done uh, fairly well. I have gotten much more conservative in the last few years. Down in our area, she's been doing a great job trying to keep the 440th, which has been an uphill battle. She may face an uphill battle in this race. Americans for Prosperity, which was founded by the billionaire Koch brothers, is doing something unprecedented. The conservative group is trying to unseat a Republican. And now we have a situation where they're targeting me. I think their focus is to raise money. I think their focus is to create chaos. There are a lot of people in Washington that have spending problems, but what really did uh, Congresswoman Elmer's end with us was her support for the Export-Import Bank. The bank provides loans to businesses. The Koch brothers have criticized it as corporate welfare. Holding voted against reauthorizing it. Congressman Elmer's does not have a voting record that reflects the district. I'm not sure at what point, as a conservative, we stopped being pro-business. Though Holding is Elmer's chief rival, he doesn't actually live in this district. When state it's lawmakers redrew state the office. lines this year, his district shifted west. You can't really say that I'm not part of the community, and you couldn't really say that I should run you know, in an area where... Yeah, raised. I think the biggest um, issue that we're dealing with here is are you a doer or are you a do nothing? It is legal for someone to run for a seat in Congress and not actually live in that district. It's rare that a candidate does that successfully, in part because they're often attacked for not being part of the community. Holding lives six miles outside the second district. Sean? Fascinating. Michael, thank you. How